Let us not pretend that the cultures, the primary cultures, in countries that implement Sharia, strive to implement Sharia, or who view Sharia in a positive light, are even remotely close to being as free as the primary cultures in countries with Western values, as well as the laws. Women's rights, gay rights, freedom of speech, freedom of association, freedom of religion, and most importantly, tolerance. We have those things in Western countries. It's part of our very fabric, and we're always trying to find new ways of being even more tolerant. Countries whose cultures view Sharia in a positive light simply do not have these things, or most of them anyway. Sharia is at odds with Western values. Christian nationalism is also at odds with Western values. But you'll never get the people pushing for it to see it. Sure, there are Christian roots to a lot of this country, and the majority of the country might be Christian. But that doesn't mean we need to implement some strict set of laws that locks everyone down to one way of life, or makes it very hard to live any other type of life. And don't get me wrong, I understand that there are good aspects to countries that implement Sharia. There's certainly less of a theft problem, it's practically unheard of. You can go to a mall and leave some expensive item on a bench there, come back the next day and the item's still going to be there. And usury is seriously frowned upon. I mean, every culture has its positive elements, but that doesn't mean that every culture is compatible with every type of government and set of laws. Even though I'm absolutely appalled at the genocidal actions of Israel towards the Palestinians since the appalling terrorist attacks by Hamas on October 7th, and appalled at how Israel has treated the Palestinians in general since Israel was approved as a country by the Jewish People's Council in 1948, I do not stand with the culture of the Palestinians. I stand with them as humans, as people who should be allowed to thrive, but I don't stand with their values, their standards, their ideals, their customs, and most importantly, their religion. So if I attend a protest or two, you're not going to see me wearing a keffiyeh. I'm not going to call for things like worldwide intifada. I'm not going to hold up another country's flag. And I'm not going to declare that the United States and capitalism is the enemy. Just saying.